Lime, like Lime over here, aka Sky, had his like has his bracket all all messed now up. Now y'all deny my boy. Oh, Let him cook God. with Lime. Let him cook. Lime cookie. His Twitter is still the same. <laughs> 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 but he's cooking with this Ike, which I have been seeing a lot of great Ikes come out um, just in the like, past couple of weeks. And of course, he is. We, we've seen the Lime, the Lime uh, Ike literally just uh, literally the set before us, the block before us. Right. And he was playing so incredibly well. But now we have Goober, one of one of the best uh, two links in New York, uh, New York City right now. And going with the upbeat and immediately getting the stock. So. Ike used to be Lime's former main. Uh -huh. um, they switched over to the Joker. But one of the things that is so nice about having a character like Ike, who's basically just all fundamentals at, at this level, yes, um, you're able to pull them out whenever you feel like, like I don't want to have to just use like raw speed and neutral to play around your stuff. I just want to chop right through it. I just yeah. want to use this big disjoint to ignore all of these boomerangs, all of these arrows, all of this everything, and still get as much results as I can out of all of it as, man, I Am Cookie just is gaming with so much of this coverage and then the burst range setting up so well in the corner. Absolutely, like, like you were saying earlier, the big sword allows uh, Lime to just come in however he wants. Right. And he literally did that where Goober threw out both, I believe, Boomerang and Bomb and Lime came in with literally a forward air instant uh, up air. And just like that, he's doing that all over again with these, uh, with the how big Ike sword is. Even throwing him up in the air, and there we go, getting the hit with the back air and taking that trade with the bomb, easy peasy. And suddenly, Goober's only at his, uh, at his last stock. <laughs> You're doing the hand movement of where the sword's going. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, it's it's one of the fun things about having characters like these, and it's a it's going to be interesting how Goober wants to play around it yes. because Ike, in a lot of ways is a fundies check. Mm -hmm. like, he's a character that relies on just some very broad, simple tools, and you, as the opponent, have to start doing things like that. Like, the jump, the up air out of shield traditionally isn't all that good, but when you're catching an Ike full hopping after his umpteenth nair, <laughs> then it just feels like, okay, you gotta mix it up just as much as I do. Oh my god, trying to get a hard read with the really charged up forward smash. Unfortunately, uh, for Blind Cookie, Goober was not going to be going right into that. And there we go, Goober trying to get a little bit more space away from this Lime, uh, from this Lime's Ike. But it, thankfully, the great DI off of that up there in, in order to not, you know, get let this first game go towards Lime Cookie. But right here, look at this pressure that Lime Cookie, Lime Cookie is putting on that ledge of the down tilt. But there we go, punishing with. <sighs> With that stock, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. So long. It's goodbye. Like, we have an interesting prop uh, position, right, when it comes to Toon Link and his desire to set stuff up. And right here, you get an example, and so we got this like slow down, boomerang there, and re-grabbing ledge. Like all of this stuff makes a lot of sense. You're playing around. You're playing around a lot of this burst range, but what you end up getting, as we see the very end of that stock. So let's let's fast forward just a little bit. That's for just a little bit, and then pause right here. This Ike setup has so many, has so much danger to it. Yep. Because if you dash in, you can get caught by a nair. If you try to jump, you could get caught by an up air. And if you just want to like try and set up an interruption, that's where back air comes in. Mm -hmm. So like, it's covered. Uh, yeah. There's just like this big sphere of death. It, it's yeah. <laughs> he basically so, drew a big <laughs> Ignoring my absolutely stellar artistic stills. So good, you, actually, <laughs> you have this danger zone around Ike that makes it only the more difficult to avoid when you would count when you uh, compensate for Ike's airspeed. Yeah. The switch over to Byleth makes enough sense when it comes to you you wanna contest range, but contesting speed is equally as difficult given how Ike's airspeed is not slow. Yeah, Ike isn't even a bad character whatsoever. He's very fun, most fundies based at this level. But look at this. Finally, Goober getting a little bit of percentage in his own favor with that down. So right into the up air, of course, such a great move for anti-air uh, lav of Ike's full hop interactions. And But he, again, here we go. Once again, we are seeing uh, Goober really try to take a lock positioning on the center stage right here. But Lime taking it right back in here with that forward air. What else can we see here? Some pressure, but missing down tilt. I like how you bring that up, Lamar. So like the... Uh, the utility of how uh, of how Lime has been wanting to set up has been a lot of like full hop, has been a lot of double jump heights, and by with each shows a lot with up smashes like that. That in the case to call out the uh, the quick draw, but so up smashes with four tilts with up beats especially has been so so good. But then you start playing at short hop height. Then you start being a little bit safer on shield. You yeah. hit those pristine spacings, and suddenly. 
we have a game going. <laughs> and suddenly we have, you're absolutely right, a game indeed. Here we go, two stocks apiece. And finally, that buy is starting to cook. You see that a lot of these uppies are going in, connecting with a lime cookie. And again, these up and up airs are working wonders for Goober to keep Ike away from where he wants to be, whereas where it's trying to come in. Excellent use of the dash attack into another up smash connection. Again, Goober only at 15% even, and Lime Cook is at his last stock of the second game. What's so funny is that this has been like largely without the use of what is Byleth's best like, advantage tool, mm -hmm. uh, neutral air. Like It has been relatively mitigated by the spacing on Lime Cookie's part, but because Lime has been so focused on spacing around Nair, that leaves spacings for potentially getting grabbed, potentially getting hit by like a falling up air, and just covering a different space. and. That changeup has been really impressive on the part of Goober in this game, too, really showing just how Violet can interact with a with a fundies based character like Ike. Sorry, I was, yeah. just, I was panicking no. a little bit. It's like, <laughs> You're what? fine. I was like, wait, what's going to happen here? Are we going to see a stock? Are we going to see something happen? But either way, again, Lime Cookie is struggling to get any kind of center stage control because now Goober has pretty much occupied that entire circular area in the middle of the stage, even getting the back throw for his efforts and a little bit of an error as well. But here's a quick draw coming all the way across the stage. Lime, what were we cooking over there, Bestie? Here we go, 185 and another arrow snipe, but not taking it quite yet. Going in with the quick draw once more for that really fast uh, vertical recovery. And again, Ether back into the ledge. The, that fair dare was pretty important, just trying to keep this with, uh, within possibility. I mean, you are a max rage Ike, down oh, throw Nair, yeah. trying their best to stay in those positions underneath of Byleth, not let them get any sort of free landings going. Oh my god, I think Lion Cookie is really struggling against, uh, like, like we were talking about earlier, those Byleth Nairs and that Byleth uh, Forte as well in the, in the up air as well. These, all these options are just complete to figure out what Lion really wants to do, which is enter in with Nair. And coming with that dash attack as well was super punishable with that back throw. Here we go, once more. We are seeing Lime struggle. We have Ike with Rage, yes, but of course we do have Goober with only 17%. And Byleth has a, such strong hit, uh, a lot of strong hits. One more back throw for the homies. What are we going to see here? Another arrow, quick draw. That's a ledge. Yeah, just going to ledge. You've established the mix-up to not go high with since, uh, you know, they got rewarded for it twice mm -hmm. over. That's what they're looking for. They want to close out the stock in similar ways. Get the quick draw to ledge, but still, it's so hard for an Ike to not play with full hop in their, yeah. in their repertoire. You see often how Mega operates by getting a lot of grabs, and mm -hmm. that's one thing that we didn't see a ton of from Lime in that game. Uh, and we saw a ton of from Goober. It's like, I just want this space. I want to maintain my zone and maintain my little safety bubble yep. that you can't touch. So I'm going to grab you and I'm going to throw you out of it. And <laughs> I'm going to back throw you out of it. I'm going to shoot you with an arrow for my troubles. Because you were in my bubble. You popped my bubble. Don't touch my bubble. Sp Don't touch my bubble. <laughs> Speaking of bubbles, literally Pokeball right here. Great, excellent use of the, of the space that the Pokeball provides for Goober. So you really use that back throw of that back air. Almost like aggressively and really like unfairly because it's just a long range weapon as well. Just just similar to uh, Ike, but we don't see Ike anymore. We have, we have the Joker uh, again. Lime Cookie originally being an Ike main, but going with that amazing Joker we see, we've been seeing the entirety of the Arcadian throughout Quad Stream and throughout uh, our singles our single you know stream setup. But look at this absolute pressure Goober's ex exhibiting right here. Even with Arsene out and active, what will we do here with now Daddy Arsene here to save the day? Arsene makes a, a big difference, but I feel like what we're not seeing Lime Cookie do very well is the is the spacing around uh, is the spacing with a lot of empty movement. Here we there is where we want to see. That's what you want to utilize as Joker first and foremost in advantage that empty hop because Joker has the fastest Beautiful. fall acceleration in mm -hmm. the game. Similar with Link, where instead of like when you initiate a fast fall, it's a sixty percent increase yep. usually. For Joker, it's a ninety percent increase. Keep, Dang! <laughs> you gotta keep me moving, and that sort of fall speed can really give Byleth a ton of trouble because you create mix-ups that are unreactable, and Byleth is all about setting up reactable spaces like when you're sitting inside the Pokeball. That's an excellent visual resource to show like just how you want to penetrate their off their positioning, and Lime Cookie's been doing that better and better as the stock is on, but that forward tilt, Ooh, my... That forward tilt was also really Ooh. close, and even coming in down with a deep Nair as well. What can Lime do here? We do be seeing Arsene out, and again, we are not able to come back to stage whatsoever, missing the down tilt for a possible two-frame con uh, connection right there. And now we come back for free. 
not even getting the connect the the kill right there, but we're both at a very high percentage. What can we see here? Not even that is gonna be taking it, Ubo. Oh my goodness. It's gotta it's gonna be a dash stack at the end of the day. One Has side or one side or the other. Without our ascent, these dash stacks are just going to be about nice. spacing, but there it is for Bylet. One of the one of the better tools in their kit, surprisingly enough. Like you would think on paper, like Bylet has a, a super sluggish ground speed. Why would this dash attack be useful at all? And the fact that Nair is so useful and the fact that you can get uh, you can finish off in mid-range scenarios makes makes it very, very useful. Oh, look at this. Uh -oh. Using the Rebel Shard against the Mara Ascent meter. Oh, that's a big uh oh moment. You saw how fast that meter filled up? Oh my goodness. Our was like, hey, I'm here. I want to play, but guess what? We are. Goober is not affected by that whatsoever. I'm loving the pressure that they're putting on this ledge right here. Even in the grab into forward throw. And now our Ascent is gone and active. He caught, he grabbed him before the active frames of down tilt. What a, what a chat. What a god. Like, what a dude. Actual, actual Goober moment. Dude, I love him it. Dude, he's right now, you know? Our, our Ascent once again out. Again, more of that Rebels Guard off the arrow. But we are not mixing up our recovery option. We're going through the same thing over and over again. Trying to get the fail knot once more off stage and missing the up tilt as well. Now we have a skirmish on the actual platform here. Yeah, and just no damage on the part of Goober right now. Like, this has just been, like, the shut... He's gone, he has fought through two Arsens on this stock, one early and one late, and has just controlled the tempo of the game so, so well nice. to the point where up to finally closing out the stock. And, hey, like, if you're thinking about a, a match and you're like, okay, my opponent is living to, like, 180 multiple times over, but if I'm not getting hurt while he's surviving until 180 then it's That's just a, a matter of patience. Like, yeah. it's a win. It's a win for me, personally, because <laughs> I'm not dying. So, yeah. And you will, in fact, die at some point with your deep red percentage. So, I like the fact that Goober is playing a lot more patiently, especially when Arsene is out and active, which you see that meter starting to come out and act out, and there he is. Oh my god, what are we doing here? Oh, we're trying to get with a really aggressive dash attack, unfortunately, but... Goober finally off on the stage, and using, I love the use of the arrow, I love the use of the forward smash, uh, the forward air as well whenever he uh, he is off stage. Just get, to get Lime off of him, just like that, that back air doing wonders, and just slightly miss space off the forward smash. I hate to see it. Uh, we're just going to the back air mode, aren't we? And it almost ended up working out at 142. Joker still sitting here waiting for the potential stock. Forward tilt's still not going to do it. You got to go off stage here, but it's so hard to confidently edge guard by the like, tether. Yeah. Very nice stuff to in order to catch the roll. Excellent. Excellent air dodge as well. I, excuse me? Okay, the spot dodge was kind of crazy. You got it. But again, like you were saying earlier, Lime Cookie is living at to like these really high deep percentages and thankfully narrowly avoiding a lot of these kill moves that Bilef does have at, at his disposal really at any point in time. What can be seen here? Love the dash attack. Love the use of the E high attack. Some more curse damage on the opponent. There we go, Goober. Eating up some more percentage slowly and surely, and now he's forced to pay way more patiently because our Samir is slowly but surely rising up. That back throw is going to be taking it off into this A into the air. And what pressure are we going to do here? Oh, okay, Uber's, going with tilts. Uber's not committed to any trying to commit to call out, calling out anything on ledge. He's just trying to take this slow. Realizing as the damage racks higher and higher, and you find more and more Ehas in Egon's landing, that damage is going to rack up really quickly. The four <gasps> tilt whiffing. Uh oh. Potential edge guarding chance. Just oh my god, the tether literally saved him! The tether saved him from the, the little sliver of back air, and he comes back with the arrowhead. You good? Are you eating right now? No hesitation. <laughs> frames. 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 Not even frames. frames. Pixels. Look at, Lily, look, pixels, look at this, look pixels, at this, look at this. Pixels. We're, 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 rest we're restarting this, and we're pausing, and we're going pixels. at half speed. Pixels. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Zoom in on that. And he goes. Oh. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at this Superman pose. <laughs> Her box shifting is real. <laughs> Her box shifting is real. Sometimes so God has favorites. <laughs> <laughs> God has favorites, and clearly Goober is one of them. <laughs> this is God's Stronger Soldier. We're watching him right here. Just from that interaction, Goober's gonna win the entire Arcadian. I'm sick. If he doesn't, I'm upset. I'd be upset. <laughs> if he gets top two, he can't enter an Arcadian. That's a win to me. True. So he has to get top two, and that's all he needs. And he's already halfway there with finally going into this possible last game of the uh, of the set. Game four on our hands. Goober up one, uh, well, up two games against Slime Cookie. And love the rapid jab usage of the... Uh, 
right there against uh, Lime Cookie. What, what's Lime going to do? Because he has to start. See, now he sees that the power of God is on Goober's side. So yeah. what do we do? <laughs> well, you know, Joker does shoot a God in the face in his game. So, so true, Bessie. Honestly, the way to play around this, you need to use more gun. And you that's, more that's gun. both part of the joke and unironically. A lot of the times, Joker can force slower characters like Byleth to be uncomfortable in their mid-range through use of short hop, Eha, yep. and gunplay. And one of the best things that, one of the only few things that Lime Cookie hasn't really been doing is those short hop ehas. Like, there's been a lot of standing gun, mm -hmm. but not a ton of it that actually applies pressure, where you actually get the hits done. And so yeah. Goober is just chilling, super comfortable at that mid range, finding these backers, finding these grabs, and just really, really controlling that stage. Yeah, Goober is pushing, pl playing so well. He plays so reactively to what Lime Cookie is trying to do. Every time he sees Lime Cookie even neutral get up or try to roll in, he is ready for that grab, ready for that up tilt. And even when uh, Lime Cookie is trying to even recover at the stage from the air, he's ready with that up tilt or that up air. And you love to see it. And right now, it's like Goober is up ahead in percentage in stocks. Trying to get the connection at the back here. He could. He definitely gets it. There's Arsen once more. And that's, that's definitely, yeah, that's definitely Arsen. Yeah, my fault. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes you make an overcommitted and you eat an Arsen backer. It yeah, happens. It but happens. keep in mind, the percentage, the average percentage of where a stock is lost has been like, what, 130 yep. for a Goober? Like one th around, that, uh, around that area? That's huge. That's a huge difference and a huge amount of pressure you're putting on Lion Cookie to have just to work so, so hard, even with an amazing tool like Arsene. Meanwhile, you're just chilling great tech. Excellent tech off of the, the fail now attempt. And there again, there it is. Uh, Goober is typically really good at guessing when that, that counter is going to be coming out to charge up the Arsene meter, but this time he wasn't ready for it. So again, now we have the Egos coming in uh, to, to put a lot of pressure on Goober to threaten his positioning, threaten his percentage as well, and stuffing out that attack as well. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do? Okay, Tether Recovery coming back to stage. Pressing with back air. Byleth's Tether is something else. <laughs> Why does that? <laughs> it is, <laughs> it is so far and away the best Tether in the game, and it continues to show that off. Excellent. Another neutral getup. Will Excellent. Lime Cookie perform a mix-up at ledge? The answer may surprise you. It's no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not surprising at all. Then. Lime Cookie just has to, yeah, you're right, has to come in a little bit more with some more mix-up, but maybe maybe we got to stop talking because now we're having even game, game four. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, my, my absolute bad. However, Gooper has been playing such an incredible job after switching off of the Toon Link. He's kind of been cooking, uh, cooking Lime Cookie a little bit too. He's, he's been baking him. The cookie's a little bit, a little bit burnt now. We got, we got to chill out. Yeah, the, the enemy of the Lime Cookie is this lemon flavored Byleth, apparently, like rocking, rocking the claw skin and rocking a whole bunch of this Ooh, clean, nice. playing around the Aegon, looking for something as the back air trade comes in, my, like, and every trade is in your advantage if you are the Goober in this position, because you're not only are you, like, your, your trades are just going to natively have a lot more advantage yep. for you. Down to up there. Yeah, but then there's that down to up there, up there to just get some more percentage on Lime Cookie. Lime Cookie looking really dangerous right here. Even our send meter is slowly... It's not even, like, feasible at this point, unless it gets a really excellent counter on Arrow, um, which Goober has been incredibly good at, you know, uh, avoiding that our send meter going up from such a mistake of that. Okay, a little more Eha. Barely missing uh, Goober right there. Mulligan coming in another again. 136 kind of crazy. Uh, gotta Aye. be careful with some of these side beasts though, but it does feel like uh, Lime Cookie has been doing a good job of fainting around fair one. It's been a lot of short hop Eha's and like sh and gun, mm. but then he'll move in with like a fair one or a some sort of threatening button that could potentially close out his stock. The down smash not gonna do it. Getting uh, closer and closer to the end game. Yeah, Goober has to be a little more patient here. He's, getting, he's trying to go for a lot of flashy moves like you were talking about, like that, like that side beat kill going into the back throw again. We have Arsene out and active. You're at 105%. That's really acceptable to really anything that Joker wants. Joker can breathe at you, and you you would die. So definitely needs need the patience. But they're finally getting the side that he was looking for the entire game. Uh, yeah, it, that's exactly right, Mark. Because you've been seeing a lot of utility out of that grounded side beat, mm -hmm. where which would just get like punished. Like, I think it was two or three times over. It's like, I'm yep. going to go for this. I'm going to catch you jumping. And he's like, no, I'm not jumping, bro. Like, we I'm not jumping, We're bro. We're not jumping, bro. But when they're already in the air, that's when you can expect a Joker to throw out that double jump and to throw out that gun. Normally such a safe tool to have. Like, landing with gun is 
really hard to contest. Because like, <laughs> yeah, you're getting hit. Yeah. Like, oh, I gotta, it, gotta it get covers, out of here. It covers a ton of space, but when you have the range of Byleth, that all of that space just gets eaten alive by that ground side B, and it turned it uh, turned into a three to one victory. Just check check the space, the, the coverage here from Lime uh, from. That looks Uber. illegal. Like, Look at that. That's huge. Bro was twenty feet away from him. We're backing up. Yeah, like this side B starts, and the where because of the jump from ledge into these gunshots, like this gunshots. They threaten this horizontal space, which implies that you're prevent you're trying to prevent yourself from getting hit by yep. a Byleth forward air. But because the grounded anti-air uh, from uh, from Goober was so uh, was so well placed and covering this whole area, like you're ex you're giving yourself you're utilizing your lead in order to make these risks and eventually turn them into.